Hi, I'm John DeBerry. Welcome back to Drink What You Want, and I'm going to make the balzuka for you, which to me I can only describe as my most morally reprehensible cocktail so far. So this is a recipe from my upcoming book, Saved by the Bellini. It's a cocktail book that's all about uh, drinks uh, that are based on things from the 90s that I love. So toys, games, video games, music, you name it, it's, it's in this book. And one of my favorite things to do when I was like in fourth grade, which was like 1996 or something, was to have Nerf gun uh, birthday parties where my friends and I, we would all have like our little Nerf guns and we would like shoot each other in the backyard or something or like downstairs in the basement and like we'd have these like elaborate wars. And actually for my 40th birthday, which was like a month ago, I rented a house in the Catskills and we had a Nerf gun war with a bunch of middle-aged people. And it was actually really fun. Um, and so I made a cocktail that was uh, inspired by and an homage to my favorite Nerf weapon, uh, the Balzuka, which they don't make anymore. I had to find one on eBay for more money than I'm willing to uh, Feel, feel not embarrassed to disclose. But it was this like, bazooka like shaped thing that had these like chambers for balls and you like and these like, little balls popped out of the gun and it was like really fun. I actually literally like slept with it when I was like in fourth grade and like, uh, I've never been in a fight. I've never punched anyone. I'm not a violent person, but I just, I love Nerf guns. They're just cool and shiny and like elaborate and like techy and I love them. So I wanted to make a drink that was inspired by that. Don't you get it? It's Nerf or nothing. The core of this drink is Midori infused tapioca pearls. So you're basically making like these like tapioca, these boba things that you find in a lot of like Asian tea, like iced tea and stuff like that, like desserts. Uh, but you find green ones that you then soak in Midori, which is a Japanese melon liqueur to make them like green and sort of iridescent. And then that gets mixed with a bunch of just really, um, just really unholy ingredients like blue curacao, overproof Jamaican white rum, and to top it off with some Mountain Dew because why not? This is a cocktail that's just as absurd as the idea of like foam weapon radius. So the first step in this recipe is to soak uh, tapioca pearls. So let's get started. To make the tapioca pearls, uh, you can use any of them, any kind you, you can find. Uh, the flavor will be fine, but just uh, for color, I like to use the green ones because they're green like turf. Um, and the, man the manufacturing instructions are basically to boil these uh, in water for like a few minutes until they float and let them soak and then chill. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm not gonna do all of them because I'm only making one. The last step uh, for any of these is to chill them in cold water, essentially. And instead of using cold water, we are gonna use Midori. Just cover them up and you'll let them sit for 20 to 30 minutes. And then what you'll be left with is these. So they've soaked up a lot of the kind of iridescent greenness that is in the Midori, they also started green, so they're not like wildly off, but you wanna make sure that this, the, the melon flavor from the Midori is really soaked into these pearls because that's like a key part of this drink. And the rest of it is just a simple matter of building some of the drink in the glass, and then you wanna have your shaken ingredients and shake them up in your shaker and then pour it on top, and then you have a nice little, nice little drink. So first you wanna get a third of a cup of the Midori soaked pearls. So once you have your ingredients in the glass, this is the Midori soaked pearls and the ice. Leave it alone for a minute. You wanna have half an ounce of lime juice, three quarter blue curacao, and then an ounce and a half of overproof rum. This is an overproof white rum called Rain Nephew. There's overproof dark rums too that will, they'll work, but this is, this is what you should find. Top with Mountain Dew, throw a little straw in there. And here's your balsuka, 100% natural organic flavoring and coloring, and it's not bad for you at all. You know what else isn't bad for you? Liking this video and leaving a comment and subscribing, going to foodfuture.com, getting the full recipe, and also pre-ordering my book. It comes out next month, so cheers. See you next month.
<laughs> Nerf Ball Zooka comes with 10 balls. Extra ammo sold separately.